Dear friends, I'm Mr. Twisty, coming your way with stories and laughter for you every day. From my treehouse on the ground, where the fun never ends, with magic, balloons, and stories, let's be best friends. With jokes that'll delight, sometimes, and magic tricks too, each day brings new wonder and joy just for you. Adventures away with each turn of the page, come join the excitement no matter your age. We'll twist up some fun with balloons of all shapes and dive into stories through forests and lakes. Creativity's key in all that we do, so let's get started, there's so much to do. Hi friends, welcome back to another Mr. Twisty Storytime Adventure. I love hanging out with you every week, and I'm so happy to see you again. Are you ready for another fun adventure together? Oh, no, wait, here it comes. I can feel some seriously cheesy jokes brewing. Why did one penny team up with the other penny? Because it made more sense. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, where do polar bears keep their money? In a snowbank. <laughs> Where do fish keep their money? In a riverbank. <laughs> oh, I have to stop. I have a show to do. You know I share a story with you every week. Well, this week's is special. This story was written by me, but I had a lot of help. I was performing at a community event, having a great time when I saw a giant inflatable pig named Penelope Pig. I found out that Penelope Pig belonged to a local credit union and helped kids learn about money, saving, goals, and interest. And I thought that was an adventure I wanted to take you on. So working with the people at the credit union, I wrote this story so I could share all this magic about money with you. What do you do with the money you get? Do you save it? Are you saving for something special? Have you ever lost money? I know it's no fun. Do you ever wish you could make money appear magically? Imagine if you could make money appear like that. Do you know what you get when you cross a little girl saving for a special bike and lost money? This week's story, Penny, Nichols, and Penelope Pig by Mr. Twisty. Me. Once upon a sunny day in a cozy little town, there lived a cheerful girl named Penny. Penny loved collecting shiny coins she found and bills she got as gifts. She also got an allowance. Anytime Penny got any money at all, it went immediately into her piggy bank, Penelope Pig. Penny hoped to save enough money to buy a special new bike she really wanted. One bright morning, Penny decided to count her savings to see how close she was to her goal. But as she poured out her savings onto the bed, she noticed something was wrong. Some of her money was missing. Penny's dad saw her looking sad and asked what was wrong. Through sniffles and tears, Penny explained that some of her money was missing. Her dad listened patiently and then gently suggested, you know, Penny, sometimes grown-ups keep their money safe in a bank or a credit union. Maybe you could think about doing that. Penny's ears perked up with curiosity. What's a bank, she asked. Her dad smiled and explained. A bank is a special place where you can keep your money safe. They have big vaults and security to protect it. Plus, they use the money to help people buy houses and start businesses. Penny wiped away her tears and nodded. She felt a little better knowing there was a place where her savings could be safe. With new determination, she decided to retrace her steps and see if she could find her missing money. Penny put on her detective hat and carefully retraced her steps from the day before. She remembered buying ice cream from the corner store and visiting the park with her friends. Maybe she dropped the money somewhere along the way. As Penny searched, she bumped into Mrs. Johnson, the kind old lady from down the street. Mrs. Johnson saw Penny's worried face and asked what was wrong. 
Penny explained her problems and Mrs. Johnson suggested, why don't you check with the shopkeeper or the park ranger? They might have found your money. Penny followed Mrs. Johnson's advice and went back to the corner store in the park. Sure enough, the shopkeeper had found Penny's missing money in her little purse on the sidewalk outside the store. Penny's face lit up with joy as she thanked the shopkeeper and hugged Penelope Pig tightly. With her missing money safely back in her piggy bank, Penny felt relieved. She realized that losing savings was no fun at all. Penny knew she needed to be more careful if she was going to get her dream bike. After returning home, Penny couldn't stop thinking about the bank. She grabbed Penelope Pig under her arm and walked into town. Her town had a special kind of bank called a credit union. A credit union is like a bank, but owned by the people with accounts there. Penny went up to the teller at the credit union and asked skeptically, is this a safe place to keep my money? The teller smiled kindly with a little giggle and replied, absolutely, we're here to help you keep your money safe and even make it grow. Penny's eyes widened with curiosity. Grow, she echoed, dreaming of her money growing bigger in size. The teller nodded and explained, yes, when you keep your money in the credit union, we give you something called interest. It's like a little extra money we give you every month just for keeping your money with us. Penny imagined coins magically appearing in her piggy bank every month until Penelope Pig was overflowing with money. That will help me buy my bike faster, she thought. She grinned with excitement, understanding the magic of interest. Penny declared proudly, So, I can keep my money safe, help people in my town, and get my bike sooner? Wow! That's super cool! Feeling confident, Penny placed Penelope Pig on the counter and asked to open an account. But just as the teller was about to take Penelope Pig away, Penny politely spoke up. Psst. Please keep my money safe, but I need Penelope Pig back, um, now. The teller giggled again and assured her, of course, Penny, give me a minute and I will return Penelope Pig along with your account statement. With her account opened and Penelope Pig back safely in her hands, Penny skipped out of the credit union feeling proud and excited about her new financial adventure. She was confident she could get her dream bike. Penny couldn't wait to tell her friends and family about her experience at the credit union. She wanted everyone to know how banks could help them achieve their dreams. Back home, Penny sat down with Penelope Pig and started to plan her savings goals. She dreamed of buying her shiny new bicycle and maybe even saving up for college. Every month, Penny made sure to put some of her allowance into her bank account. She knew that by saving regularly, she would reach her goals faster. Penny also learned the importance of budgeting. She made sure to set aside money for the things she needed and the things she wanted without spending it all at once. As the months went by, Penny watched with excitement as her savings grew. She knew that with patience and persistence, she would achieve her dreams. With a certain flair, Penny even talked to her class about what she had learned about banks and credit unions. She carefully described their differences, talked to her classmates about setting financial goals, and of course, the magic of interest. In less time than she planned, Penny bought her new bike, and she and Penelope Pig went on many amazing adventures together. Penny learned that with hard work and determination, anything was possible. The story doesn't end here. It continues with you. How do you earn, save, and grow your money? 
Do you have a goal you are saving for? Remember, just like Penny, you can achieve your dreams with smart savings and spending habits. Mr. Twisty's Storytime Adventure is brought to you by Birthday Buddy, the magical birthday countdown companion, like Elf on a Shelf, but making birthdays magical. For more information, visit mrtwisty.com. I really like that story. Wait, of course I did. I wrote it. But I did really like meeting Penelope Pig that day and learning about money, goal, saving, and especially loved learning about interest. Is there something you really want that you are saving for? I'm saving for a special tricycle that has four wheels. <laughs> Do you have a piggy bank? Have you named it? Mine isn't a piggy bank pig, it's a fish. I named Fred, P-H-R-E-D, Fred the fish. Oh wait, oh wait for it, I feel some serious silly coming on. How do pigs write secret messages? Invisible oink! <laughs> Which Star Wars character was really a pig? Hey, I'm Solo! <laughs> what do piglets do after school? Their ham work? <laughs> well, what do you call a pig that's no fun to be around? A boar. <laughs> what do you call a pig that wins the lottery? Filthy rich. <laughs> what do you call it when you cross a dinosaur with a pig? Jurassic pork. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, those were bad. <laughs> but today's story was awesome, wasn't it? I really enjoyed sharing Penny Nichols and Penelope Pig Makes Sense with you. There are so many different types of books to read, and I love them all. But no matter what I read, I love a reading buddy. I love to read to my birthday buddy, Max, and he's a good listener. Since Penelope Pig was definitely the inspiration for today's story, I thought I would make you a Penelope Pig Balloon. All right, friends, I have to go now, but let's meet up again next week right here in my treehouse. You want me to go on? <laughs> okay, next week, I promise a whole lot more of everything that made today's show special. I hope you'll join us for another Mr. Twisty Storytime adventure. See you next week. Mr. Twisty Storytime Adventures Mr. Twisty Storytime Adventures Mr. Twisty Storytime Adventures So much fun with Mr. Twisty